all right folks what is going on today now today i wanted to show you guys a extra link combo that um i pretty much came up with a tcg legal version um i'm not sure if you guys already figured it out i know you guys pretty much i know you guys you know i know you guys have combos so i i wouldn't be surprised if you guys haven't already figured out how to do this tcg legal because if you did not watch thursday videos or if you knew to this if you're new to this video it's your first video you're coming across on my channel this is what we call a busted mcbusted play where we find some of the most convoluted combos that may not be the most i guess the most optimal um or the most you know consistent or anything like that and we just make it we just make the most uh just busted deck we i mean busted play we can make um if you haven't checked out the other ones there's more on my channel if you guys do enjoy these or my other videos go ahead and subscribe because we have more stuff like this and if you guys want to help the channel the donation links are down in the description below so there's that also the person who originally came up with this combo he played he played it in vampires i was trying to see and he played needle fiber so i was trying to see can we do this combo in the tcg well at least as tcg able as we can which is summon sorcerers but that comes out in a couple of weeks so we're definitely going to be able to do this and i did it took me about five to ten minutes and while i was taking six different tries to record this video i figured out basically another way that you can pretty much pull off this combo in i guess better ways so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so as you see this is all you need this is all you need so don't 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 forget you still have three other cards in hand so that means that this play don't just forget at the end of the whole thing just imagine plus three so here we go what we're going to do is use a uh, solitaire to get to the unizombie and it's very important that you keep a, a, a zombie in either one of these zones for some and sorcerers so do not forget that um this play needs what's the name this play needs uh Shiri new solitaire and a spirit master or you know vice versa or any other basically Shiri new that he solitaire can special summon because that is very crucial so we're going to start off with our regular plays now if you guys have been already on this channel you guys definitely seen this play before um and i'm pretty sure you guys didn't think it can get this busted so here we go what we're going to do is start off going into a vampire sucker damn it i already didn't forgot the combo already but yes you definitely want to go into a vampire sucker and what you want to do with slayers you want to add evolution and dump battle lord now this is very crucial very very crucial you do not want to dump strikers that's what we usually do with this combo but no you want to dump battle lord because we can still get striders off of the battle lord so we get basically a draw from there so there's a plus one don't forget we still have three other cards in our hand um so we're pretty much at four what you want to do here is just, this is entirely up to you if you if you play pre-prep i mean if you play preparation of rights in your deck then i wouldn't advise doing that but if you don't like i don't because that card is very bad in this deck i believe you just don't want to do it so anyways what you want to go from now is the star card of the day which is summer sorcerer so you want to use battle lord and um vampire sucker and then you want to use battle lord's effect you can search any ritual you want it's not going to matter so now we are up to plus two in hand so now we're going to use you striders we're going to reveal the card that we did search because we this is a random card um as of right now now what we're going to do is use summon sorcerers now if you guys seen this combo you know where i'm going with this you know exactly what's going to end up happening um on this field so it's pretty much the same thing as the needle fiber play except for this not being the token so as you guys probably already seen we're just going to do these combos so we're going to use those two to go into a sucker i mean not go into a sucker we're going to go into a uh, uh cerberus so what we're going to do here is search the mizuki and then use three and a four to go into the firewall. Now I have to change this firewall because I almost a couple times clicked uh, what's the name. So what you want to do here is uh, definitely add back Goblin Zombie because that is very crucial. You do not want to forget that. If you forget that, you're in a little bit of trouble. So if you guys play Gokis or seen Gokis, you guys know how this combo looks. So we're going to activate firewall and we're going to activate. Oops! Do not make firewall chain link one. You will lose. Want to make Mermaid always chain link one. Firewall chain link two. You want to discard Mizuki, and you want to also special summon your Goblin Zombie. So then, when Ibli comes out, you know he only can special summon uh, Link monsters when Ibli is out. You don't want to pretty much get into that situation. So here, what we're going to do is go Troy Mark Goblin. So we're going to use Ibli, and we're going to use Goblin Zombie to go Troy Mark Goblin. Uh, we don't want to use Firewall's effect, and we do want to use Nightmare Goblin's effect 
um, and Ibley, you just give your opponent Ibley for free. It's not really going to matter here. And we're going to draw an extra card for that special summon. And then what we can do here is grab Samurai Skull. Now, if you're not playing this in your deck, you just grab Mizuki. If you're playing Gozuki, you can grab that. It's up to you. I love Samurai Skull. I play it. This is what's going to happen. So we're going to normal summon our Samurai Skull, activate the Young Effect. And in this situation, what we're going to do is dump another Mizuki because now we're just loaded up with Mizukis. So we're going to use Mizuki to get back the uh, Goblin Zombie. And here, what we're going to do is go into another Sucker. All right. So, wait, am I? Yes, we definitely are going to go into another Sucker. I can see uh, th this is where it gets a little. This is where it gets a little crazy because sometimes uh, you can definitely mess up and get the wrong card. So right here at this specific moment, you want to grab Familiar because if you don't grab Familiar, you will not be able to continue the rest of this combo unless your hand is just great. Then you can do it, but most of the time you won't. So we're going to use Mizuki to get back Goblin Zombie once again. Bam. And then what we're going to do here is go into a Trigate Wizard using Sucker and Goblin Zombie. So bam, triggering our Firewall now to special summon this Familiar. Bam, and then now with Goblin Zombie, you can search Gozuki, you can you can search Brood, it is up to you. Um, for this combo, what we're gonna do, we'll search Brood, just so we can show, I guess, the combo here. So, we're gonna search Brood with this. Even though we already have a Brood, we're gonna search another one, just in case you didn't have one already. With Familiar, what you wanna do is grab Scar Jelay, because Scar Jelay can special summon any vampire from your graveyard. And if you guys already know where I'm going, you know what this play is. So. We're going to use Link Karibo to go right there, triggering Firewall to special summon Scar Jelay. And Scar Jelay pays a thousand. And you know what we get back, folks? We get back a Vampire Sucker. Ooh, we're looking pretty decent right now. So now what you want to do is go Troy Mirror Griffin using Goblin and a Sucker because that's a Link 4. Go using Griffin. Um, you do you want to use Firewall? Absolutely, because you search the Brute. Then what you want to do is use Griffin. And what you can discard is any of the cards you drew. Don't forget you still have three more cards. Let's just for peeps sakes discard the Vendred Knights. You can set preparation. You can set any other spell and trap that you have. I choose preparation because preparation is pretty good. Um, and we've drawn into another one. So now we can special summon Brood. Then we can use Retainer's Effect to go ahead and search us a Vampire's Domination. So if you have another monster in your hand, if you have another vampire in your hand, don't forget, you still have familiar to use. You can still do all of that stuff. So what we're going to do is go into a Troy Mare Phoenix and go bam. So in this situation, bam, you actually link your opponent. Um, as you can see here, we're going to use Firewall's effect to special summon the brood because, hey, we don't really have anything on board to do. Um, and then now look at the board. Don't forget you still have three other cards in hand. You can also use a brood or familiar in your graveyard. It does not matter. It's up to you and bam, look, we actually linked our opponent. We can negate a card, we can banish a card. Can't nothing be destroyed by battle um, or linked monsters can't be destroyed by battle. Also, they cannot activate special summon monsters unless they're co-linked and there's no way they can do it. And they also can't special summon. So pretty much what's going to happen is he's going to start off the duel. And he, I mean, start off the battle phase and attack this. And then he has to win from there in main phase two. And we also have a domination. We also have a negate with this. And yeah, man, we're just pretty much set. We have a pre prep for next turn. So depending on how you build your deck, you can definitely um, go from there. If you know, if you have revenants or other stuff don't forget we've only used one we only use two ritual spells so we still have four more ritual spells in this deck and we're still able to do so much next turn because we still have a mizuki we still have <clears throat> pre-prep we still have you know a lure we have all this stuff and you also plan a little small vampire engine so you can definitely do that also but yeah that's what i wanted to show you guys today so i hope you guys did enjoy this video and did enjoy this combo because man it didn't take me too long to figure this out when I took my cards out. 
I just started seeing, hey man, how can I do it? How can I do it? And then eventually I was like, man, but it just clicked in the head. And uh, yeah, like I said, you can do this play. Um, you can do a different play. It's up to you. If you don't want to search Domination in Brood, you can search <laughs> any other zombie in your deck. If you play Shooting Doji, you can play Shooting Doji. You can banish two zombies to draw a card. Um, I, I mean, I don't know what else you're going to be playing in this, but hey, whatever you else you want to do, bam. Um, you could possibly, no, nope, no, nope, this is Cyrus. It's not, I mean, you can't do that. So um, you can possibly, uh, you can get another Mizuki. You can get a Gozuki, use the Mizuki, and uh, you can do stuff from there, and you can just make this play even better. But that is it for today. The time limit is up, and that is it for today. Uh, don't know why I repeated myself, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Leave your link. I mean, leave your comments down below to how to make this play even better. Um, what else could I do? There's a different avenue. Is there an easier way to do this or something like that? Let me know down in the comments below. Besides that, that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I should see you guys tomorrow with a one-hour special, and we're going to be playing decks like this to see if we can just keep doing this as many times as we can. But yeah, that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I uh, hope you guys have a good day.